ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ കുരുക്ഷേത്ര ഫോർ പോയിന്റ് ഓ പവേഡ് ബൈ മണപ്പുറം ഫിനാൻസ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് വി ആർ ഇൻ ദ ഫോർത്ത് എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്വാളിഫൈങ് ലെവൽസ് ഓഫ് കുരുക്ഷേത്ര ഫോർ പോയിന്റ് ഓ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഹാവ് എ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ വിനേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ക്വിസ് ത്രീ Hello, welcome to Kurukshetra 4, the quiz conducted by Lions Club International in association with Manapuram Finance Limited. This is another of the qualifying round. My name is Arun Peeti. I am a civil service exam coach. I am the quiz master for the day. There will be five questions and there will be one bonus question. The fastest three with the highest correct number answers would be getting bonus points. please leave your name and school in the comment section below the video and when you send the answers send them as a single message to the number you see in this video and uh, you need to put your name the class and the school along with the answer this is question number 1 this is a story about a very popular fried indian dessert or a fried indian sweet it had its origin in the middle east you know the recipe for making this dish or the sweet has been found in the 13th century cookbook ibn batuta when he was traveling through the indian subcontinent has tasted this dish the literal meaning of this dish in that language from where it originated uh, just means fit only for the high ranking official I don't want that original name I want the popular name of the popular you know fried sweet that we all know that we have all eaten in India This is question number 2 A Catholic priest was trying to discover a star but he actually ended up discovering another celestial body which he thought was a comet he named the comet what he thought was a comet after a roman goddess and a king others objected to using the name of the king and therefore he retained the name of the roman goddess alone i want you to identify the celestial body i'll give you two clues for that clue number 1 a staple part of human diet derives its name from this roman goddess clue number 2 a rare earth element is named after this celestial body so you need to identify the celestial body which was discovered by a catholic priest and named after a roman goddess question number 3 this sweet and sour fruit that said to have been originated from southeast asia uh, said to have uh, medicinal properties 
but it is fatal for the people uh, who have kidney diseases. Its scientific name is partially derived from a name of an Islamic polymath or an Islamic scholar. I want you to identify the popular name of the sweet and sour fruit which gets its popular name from the way it is cut and served. This is question number four. This boy one day was playing with two of his pigeons. Suddenly his father called him and therefore he gave these two birds to a pretty girl whom he found to be loitering nearby and said to her that she has to keep it safe for him until he returns. But after some time when he returned, he found the girl was holding only one pigeon. So he, she, he asked her what happened to the other pigeon and she smiled at this boy and said this and she released the bird into the air. And this boy was pleased with the sense of humor of this girl and later he fell in love with this girl and married her. This is a story about a royal couple. So I want you to get the name of the boy and girl who later became king and queen. This is question number five. In ancient Mexico, long before the Spanish colonized it, in the ancient Aztec cities, there used to be courier people, you know, courier men who are basically postal uh, deliverers who used to run long distance to spread the messages. And these people, to preserve um, energy, to get uh, more energy, they used to consume a particular kind of natural superfood. In that ancient Nauhatal language, this superfood literally means rock excrement or rock shit. Identify this natural superfood. This is the bonus question. An Indian scientist who also happens to be a musician, because of his love of music and also his love for the animals, did not want to use the hides of goat, cow, and buffalo to make this particular musical instrument. So he did research for a large number of years and came up with a synthetic version of this instrument. Identify the first instrument he has created in 2015. In fact, you do not need to give me the name of the scientist who created the synthetic instrument. I just need you to identify the instrument which he invented in 2015, the first of a series of instruments which he later invented. So I want the first instrument he invented in 2015, the synthetic version of a natural musical instrument. So these are the questions. Please send in your answers before 10 a.m. tomorrow. All the best. Stay positive. Cure positive.